can we get these first two out of the way that are, excuse me, much more straightforward? Can someone give me an answer for part A? Four. Say that again. Four. Four by two. Like four by two. Is there, is there an extra bit that, that we want in there? Four point, thank you. 4.52, yeah, okay. Times? 10 to the 5. Okay. By the way, how did you know that that should have been 10 to the power of 5? I only count two zeros there. Because reasons. Because reasons? Yeah, Maddie. Because reasons. Okay, very good. So when you think about this number, even though these guys are not zeros, right? If you compare four and a half to, well, that's uh, 451,000, right? How many times is this decimal place going to have to hop down in order to give you this number? The answer is five times, okay? So that's fine. How about this one? We're going in the other direction. Someone give me a hand. I'll give you a clue. It starts with a one. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, go ahead, Manny. 1.33 times 10 to the negative 1. Okay. So, just think about it. Because you have to do this rounding for three significant figures, there's lots of information there that is irrelevant to you, right? I personally like to round first and then write the rest of it. So you have a look and you think, which are the three most important numbers? And these guys here are the biggest ones. How did I know to stay at 103 rather than go up to 104, for instance? Yeah, it's, it's this guy that comes after, right? Which means I'm closer to down than up. How about this? Where did this negative 1 come from? What's that about? Yeah, good. The decimal place has gone in the other direction, hasn't it? I want a small number, not a big number. Okay, so that's how I know it's negative 1. It only has to be once. Okay, now when you have a look at this next family of questions, right? In some senses, once you sort of access the first one, the rest of them become a lot easier. But even so, there are some tricks in there. I want you to remember, number one, multiplication. You can multiply numbers in any order you like, right? Uh, two times three times five is 30, 30, right? So you could do two times three, which is six, six fives are 30. Or if you wanted, you could do what else, what other order you could do it in? Uh, you could do 2 times 5, which is 10. 3 tens, still 30, right? So I've got here 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers, and I can multiply them in any order I like. So I'm going to rearrange them slightly. And if you have no working, I'd love you, like if you did this on your calculator, I'd love you to follow with me and see how I'm working this out. I'm going to put these two numbers here. This is, these are both in scientific notation, and these are my significant figures. I'm going to put my significant figures first. And then I'm going to put these guys off on the end. Okay, so I'm going to get this. Are you happy with that? You see the way I work that? The reason why I've done this is because now if you have a look at those two numbers at the end, they're actually not two numbers. Like that itself is two numbers, and then this one is three, right? So this is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Yeah? And that's why you add these indices. Some of you have actually already noticed you can just add those two indices there, there, two and three, and you get this number. Okay. Now, uh, 2.3 times 8.9, I don't expect anyone can do that in their head. Has someone got an answer for me? 20. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 20. Are you going to the 20. 20 point? Okay. And so when you look at that, you notice, oh, wait, I'm not done yet because that's not between. What does the first number have to be between for scientific notation? One and ten. ten. Between one and ten, right? So then you have to unfortunately take the working space for the next question and say I'm going to change that 20.47 into 2.0. Oh, now at this point you have a choice. I could just move the decimal place, which would give me 2.047. But I know I've got a hit here, don't I? Right? And 2047, that's too many significant figures. So I could just go and write a five. Okay? Now hold on a second. Since I made this number from here to here 10 times smaller, how do I compensate? What changes? Yeah, good. So this becomes a power of 6, right? So if you want to think about it this way, again, because I can multiply numbers in any order I like, there's a times 10 hiding in there, right? That's 2.047 times 10. So one of the 10s comes out and joins in over here. And there's my number, okay? Of course, you can punch this into your calculator, so long as you can interpret what you get after that. Well, let's see. I mean, I've given my, I've got my old timey calculator now. Can I? When someone puts them in, yeah, okay, thank you. Depending on the mode that you're in, well, let's see. Two point. Whoa, whiteout. Okay. 
Yeah. Is anyone else have a calculator? Anyway, okay. Yeah. Uh, times 10 squared. I dropped off, so I rewrote it. That's fine. Mine That's just okay. Dropped off, but it it wasn't where we wrote it before, so if you think. Oh. Okay, so if you, um, if you just punch it in, I mean, this calculator, which I assume is in normal mode, is handing me, I'll put it off on the side in another color. It's handing me this, two, zero, four, seven. Is it two zeros on the end? I think it must three. be two, right? No, three. Yeah, three. Okay. So, yeah. So you can see, right, we've turned this question into now one of these, right? Like this is normal notation, ordinary notation, and then you've got to do the job to convert. Now, um, I'm going to rub off my working there so that you can see my answer. When you have a look at this next one, this next one is a bit trickier because there's division in there and you can't just divide numbers in any order you please. So let me just put this up here out of the way. So can someone give me a suggestion, not the answer, but a way to get toward the answer without relying on a calculator just yet? Any suggestions? Hmm. Yeah, Eliana, what do you reckon? 4.1 divide that by 1.3 so let's bring the figures together. Yep. And then 10, the power of 10 minus 3, mm -hmm. I did minus 3, minus, 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 minus 3 minus 5. Yeah, okay. So hold on. Let me just write that down first and then we'll work out exactly where this came from because this is perfect. Uh, off on the side here, I'm going to write, well, it's, it's perfect, but it's not finished yet, okay? Off on the, on the side here, I'm going to try and unpack what's going on, right? Uh, it might help sometimes, and I don't have the working space over there, so I'm going to do it over here. It might help you to write this, like, string of numbers just as a fraction. We can deal with fractions. We've spent a long time with that. So maybe if you want to write along with me this, I have a pair of numbers, and it looks like this. Are you okay with that? You see, I've just replaced the division sign with a fraction sign. Okay, now, what do we got here? Again, I'm gonna take Eliana's suggestion. You can see where the 4.1 and 1.3 comes from. It comes from there, okay? So I'm gonna leave those scientific, uh, sorry, those significant numbers out the front, that's good. Now, what happens here? You can think about this just in terms of rules. You might remember I said to you, when you've got these um, indices, you can cross the line and change the sign, right? So that's how that, five there on the bottom, crosses the line, and you change the sign, it becomes a minus five. But the other way you can think about it is, like this is all abbreviation, right? this is all shorthand. What is it shorthand for? Let's think about this guy first, right? What is that shorthand for? When you've got a, like when we looked here, right? When you multiply by something with a negative index. It's about division, isn't it, right? Like a negative index means you divide by 10. That's how I read that. So if you've got a 3 there, then you're dividing by 10 three times, right? You do it once, and then twice, and then a third time, provided you don't rub off your own writing in the process, okay? So 3 divisions by 10, so I'm just going to write that, okay? Divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10. That's this guy. All right now I think about this. Well, he's on the denominator, so he's dividing 2. How many times? Five. Five times, that's what the index means. So I'm going to write one more. Two more, three more, four more, five more. Did I lose count? There you go. Now, of course, this is very tiresome. This is why we have index notation, because it's a, who wants to, who, any, anybody got time for that? So therefore, we fold this all into how many divisions are we doing? We're doing minus three, minus five. That's eight of them. Right? So I still haven't dealt with that guy out the front, but that's how I write this division. So much more concise, so much faster. Okay? And then I'm going to use my calculator. Someone already done this? Done 4.1 divided by 1.3? Mm -hmm. Any takers? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that, Eliza. 3.15. There you go. Um, and you had more decimal places, didn't you? Yeah, no? but yeah? they're irrelevant. Good, so you've got more decimal places, but it sounds like they're going to round down, so we just want the three most significant figures times 10 for the Are you happy with that? Yes. And again, your calculator ought to tell you this if it's already configured for scientific notation. You might get, do you have 0 0.0000? I've got a syntax error. You do? Error. Yeah. Say that again. I've got a syntax error. Check your multipliers and divides and what's next to each other. Almost certainly you've put two things together that aren't meant to be. So we'll check. Okay, now, um, has someone got some answers for A and F? Probably. 
Let me give you my answers, because I've already worked these out. Okay, I'm right then. Hey, have you, 